You want to talk about any new projects you got coming out right now? Uh, Undervalued Detention, man. It's something that um, I finally uh, think I released enough like content as far as singles and mixtapes and shit like that. So um, I finally decided to put out an album. We're shooting for May. Um, went with the title Undervalued Detention. It's going to be like 10 to 15 tracks. I still haven't decided, but really excited, man. I've been recording everything at Little AV, actually. So, uh, Do you have any singles on there you like the most? Wax. Um, yeah, man. There's a song called Blast Off that I think is wild. I think I switched my flow up on there um, a crazy amount of time, and I'm excited to see uh, how people take that diversity. I think it's uh, been a long time coming to like showcase like what uh, the, the new style is, and I think people are going to be blown away by it, for sure. Would you say it's got more solo tracks on it or collaborative tracks? I'd say it's got more solo tracks. I think I got some features with some, some people that I've really been fucking with uh, heavy lately. Um, that I'm excited to show off. Ajax Stax, Tone Royal, Colin G, Droid. Uh, those are all the guys that have been like family these last couple months. So um, I'm excited to show them off. But for the most part, it's all solos. That's pretty much your team, right? Yeah, that's the team. Yeah, how'd you run into these guys? Uh, so we, we go by the collective. We're not, we're not a group. Uh, this is, it's complicated shit. We're, we're not like a boy band group or anything like that. We're just a bunch of people that fuck with each other. We all met each other through music. Uh, I've known Ray the longest. I actually used to be a fan of Brandon Rex's uh, uh, old band, Park and Murray, some crazy shit. I forgot to shout out Brandon Rex earlier. He's on the album too. Um, but I was a fan of Brandon Rex. I met Ray at a party. We started freestyling. Um, he thought I was dope. I actually didn't used to sing now, I sing so much, but me, me and Ray like used to just compete with bars and uh, just, just go at it. And then he later introduced me to Colin G, who's like the sweetest, nicest, all-American guy in the world. If I looked like him, uh, life would be really good. Shout out Colin G. And uh, from there I met Droid, who's just sick as fuck. Like he's like the most like uh, bar heavy, I would say. Like he just goes at it with the, with the flow, so. Um, that's the squad, man. That's how I met them, all in Austin. And I'm the only San Antonio cat that's still down there, so I need to get up here. Yeah, man, uh, I heard some of your old music that you did with Ray, and <laughs> it was completely different. It was like you were just spitting bars. You sounded like some New York style. It was crazy. It was cool. Yeah. But now you want some singing stuff. You caught up with the times. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Man, uh, my parents used to make me sing when I was, was uh, younger, and I just hated it. Like, I just felt like, Okay, so I have so much respect for art. So I, I was around so many singers that were just singers. Like, that's all they did. So if, if I didn't have that vibrato, if I couldn't compete, I just get in my head and I'm just like, why am I singing right now amongst these Whitney Houston's and Mariah Carey's and Justin Timberlake's? Uh, so, but I, I just knew I was good at music. I knew I was good at writing. I, I had a way with words. So to me, I just took over rap because I wanted to keep writing, even though I was so down on myself about singing. So after I got all these bars out, did my thing with Ray, the mixtape, the albums and all that, and I got out of my head and I was just like, man, I'm good at music. That's when I started picking up singing again. That's where I am now. I, I, I wish I would have stuck with the singing a long time ago and like kept it going, but man, I'm proud of the stuff I did from the past. I learned, I adapted, and we're about to get it.